Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So this is the second program basically which we'll be solving today and that is write a Python program which accepts the radius of a circle from the user and compute the area. Right, so this is my second question that we are going to solve and I know that this is a very, very, very simple question. Right now, this question can also be solved in different ways. See, understand one of my things here that let's say you have given, uh, you are you are basically getting a question. Let's, let's take this example only that you have got a question and that in which you need to write out a Python program which actually accepts the radius of a circle and uh, from the user and basically computes the area. Now, just think just stop this video here only and just think in your mind that what are the n number of ways in which you can solve this particular question and what are the ways that you can solve in this question right just pause out this video here only and think it from your side right okay now basically i hope that till this point particularly you have thought that what are the ways in which you can just solve out this particular question right you had got that simply you can put out the variable simply you can just put out the um, like uh, formula and you can just get out the answer first way second way you can just find out a function and you can just find out the answer third way you can from uh, we have a library we have a module actually which is called math right from that module that is math you can import the pi function pi because the uh, uh, radius for uh, for finding out the area of a circle is pi r square right so instead of writing or uh, writing out the value for pi you can simply write out import the pi from the math module and simply instead of writing out that uh, value of 3.14 you can simply write pi that is pi and it will automatically compute that area for you right these are the ways which you can actually follow for finding out the area of a circle i hope that you have thought the same right now let's see that how to solve this question with all of these three ways here fine first i'd be taking the very simple way that is declaring a variable and after that writing out the area for that circle okay right let me take here a is equal to and not I would, I would not take a i would just take okay just one second i would take here radius okay we are gonna uh what it said me to it asked me to accept the radius of a circle from the user now these are the little things which you need to make sure here to remember that if it is asked you to print out take out the user from the user then you need to take the user input from the user only right do not define the radius on yourself actually so radius can be integer or float right so it will be better for me so i just i just take here the value as a float i would write float i would write input here float input and into the bracket i'll be writing enter the enter the radius enter the radius this is the little statement which i actually wanted to print here okay i have done that particular thing now i need to find out the area of circle so i would just write here area um right here area Fine. what's the formula for finding out the area that is pi r square right now we haven't imported the math module so we cannot directly write out the pi so we all know the value for pi either that is 22 by 7 or it is 3.14 okay so i would simply use the value that is 3.14 right pi r square r we have in the radius right so we have multiply here i would or multiply and i would write here radius and again i would just multiply here and put out the radius right this is actually how we write out so pi and then r is square i have written out that thing and my last step that i'll be moving on here with this i need simply need to print out the area i wanted to come in a proper line so i'm writing area of the um, area of the circle is i would put out a comma here and i would just write out here the variable in which i have stored the area and that variable actually is area only right now remember here that whatever the statements are you are writing whatever the statement you wanted to be printed into your uh, as an output for you that you will always be putting inside the semi quotes see what i just wanted here is that i wanted that area of the circle is the statement to be printed so i just put that into my semi quotes and after that what i just wanted is that i wanted that after that a variable uh, after that my value for the area of my circle should come so I, I had separated this thing through a comma and simply written out the variable in which i have stored the uh, area of my circle right this is the way how we just follow it let me just quickly run it out here okay it is asking me okay it is asking me to enter the radius let's say i enter the radius as um 12 okay now see 
what it is giving me as an output is giving me that area of circle is and this is the area of the circle which I am getting 452.15 some one five up to some seven times right so this is the area that I actually got out from here right now this was the very first way how you can just find out the area of a circle move on to the second way so now my second way says that I can define it a function and inside that function I can find out the area so let's define it a function I would just write here dev and uh, let's say uh, my area underscore circle now my name for the function is area underscore circle now always make sure to take the things in a way in a manner that like let's say you are find, going to find the area of a circle so try to make take the name of the function related to that only okay it will be very beneficial and actually it's a good practice whatever the thing you are going to perform inside that function so try to put out and take out the name for that particular thing only right so i just put out the name for my function as area underscore circle inside that i pass on a variable i put out a colon and come on to the next line okay now here basically what i would just do is that i'll be taking a variable that's let's say area and i would just write 3.14 uh, 3.1 for multiplication r and multiplication r see what i just want is that i want to take the input from the user that that thing was mentioned above in the question that i need to take the radius from the user so whenever you are just dealing with a function so in that case you will be taking the input from the user on after the function after you have written all of the things inside your function you will come out of the function and then take the input from the user okay make sure always remember this particular thing right and i would just simply return here print and then area come on to the next line what i would just do here is that i would simply first of all call out my uh, sorry i would simply write out my print statement so r is equal to and i just want it to be float i want to take the input from the user in the float value float inside the bracket it is input and i would just put out my statement that enter the enter the radius okay and i put out the colon like this enter the radius right and I, now i would just call out my function so area okay area underscore circle and into the bracket out my parameter is r right okay i would just simply run it here and so it is asking me to enter the radius let's say i entered the same radius which i entered previously see what output I'm getting? I'm getting the same answer that is 452 point some what something, right? Now, only difference between the previous one and here is that I haven't written anything inside the print statement here. So, in that case, it is simply returning me the area. But you know that how what is the procedure for writing that out here, right? So, I just need not to write that again and again. Find the second way for doing out this particular question. Now, third procedure. Third procedure I'll be importing the import. Okay, I would be importing the math module, import math, right? And I would just write here that from math import pi. Okay, from math import pi. This is my function that I need to import from here. So, my variable goes here that is radius is equal to, I'll be writing here float into the bracket, I'll be writing float input, and it will be. Okay, let me remove this out. Enter the radius. Enter the radius, right? Come on to the next line. So I would take, let's say, area is equal to, and instead of 3.14, I would simply write here pi. Okay, pi multiplication radius and multiplication radius. Okay, other than that, you can also follow one procedure that is, you can put out a bracket and you can write here radius double multiplication power 2. Now, what this will actually do, this will actually take this radius to the power. So, it will become the radius squared. Okay. Radius multiplied by radius. It is radius squared. This is my actually exponent sign. Okay. This is a power sign. So, if you just want to put out the power of something, so in that case, you will put out the sign. And after that, you will be writing that what power you actually want. So, for radius, I want the power as 2. So, I just wrote radius uh, power 2. And this will actually square the value for my radius. Right, and I would just come out to the next line and I would just print out the area. Right, this is how actually I would just do this thing. And let me quickly run that out here. So it is again asking me to enter the radius. Let's say I would again take the same value which is 12. And see, it is again giving me some 
same value that is 4, 5, 2. Starting is same, but that this value actually differs. Now, why it actually differs? Because we haven't defined the pi value from our side. Because it will take the whole pi value. We actually, what we take, we simply take 3.14, right? We simply take 3.14. Up to two decimal places, we just take. But when, when I have defined this pi function from the math module, so what it is actually doing is that it is actually taking all the whole pi value, which is actually 3.14 something, something, something up to whatever the value it is having. It is taking whole of that value and then giving me the radius, right? So these are the three ways which you can actually follow for writing out this program. These are the three procedures that you can actually follow for writing out this program, right? I hope that you got this thing very clear that how you can write out this program. What are the ways you can simply define the variable and print the radius and you can define the function. And third is that from the math module, you can import the pi and then can find out the radius for the circle. Right, I, hope I just made this thing very, very clear to you that for writing a program, there is not only one way. There are many number of ways. This only thing depends that how much you can think, how much you can use your brain for writing out these questions. Right, so this is all for this video. Till then, thank you and take care.